In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for BaCl2 plus H2SO4. This is barium chloride plus sulfuric acid. When we look at the equation, we can see we have pairs of positive and negative ions for each one of these substances. That makes us think we probably have a double displacement reaction. Let's write the charges in and see how that works. Barium's in group two, that has a two plus ionic charge. Each chlorine has a one minus. Hydrogen, positive, and then the whole sulfate, that's two minus. So in a double displacement reaction, the positive ions, they switch places. So the barium's with the chlorine, but it ends up with the sulfate in this barium sulfate. The hydrogen, that's with the sulfate, but it ends up with the chlorine over here in the hydrochloric acid. So that's our double displacement reaction. Let's balance this equation though so these numbers make sense. Looks like if we put a two over here, this makes sense now. So as we look at our double displacement reaction, these substances will be dissolved in water. They'll be aqueous. On this side though, the hydrochloric acid, that's a strong acid, so that will be dissolved in water. But barium sulfate, sulfates in general are soluble. They'll dissolve, but barium sulfate, that's an exception. This is gonna be a solid. It'll be a precipitate and it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So it's a double displacement reaction, but sometimes you'll hear this called a precipitation reaction as well because the barium sulfate is falling to the bottom of the test tube. This isn't a redox reaction because we don't have individual elements changing their oxidation states. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for BaCl2 plus H2SO4, barium chloride plus sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.